The cabinet has approved an ambitious restructuring plan to improve the operations of Telcom Kenya. The proposals include recapitalization of the firm by an additional 10 billion shillings by both shareholders, writing off shareholder loans amounting to 30 billion shillings by France Telcom, and retrenchment of the bloated workforce. Here is Philip Keitani with the details. Other recommendations in the plan include change of the operator's business model and orientation as well as increasing the number of Kenyan managers in the firm. Presently, the executive positions in Telecom Kenya is dominated by staff, seconded from its France headquarters. So we have basically agreed uh, on a number of issues. Uh, they are going to have a, a, a more efficient and leaner uh, staff. But they are also going to harmonize here yeah, ICT uh, functions. The government has also recommended that Telecom Kenya maintain its focus on fixed lines where it has a comparative advantage rather than compete in all fronts while incurring losses. According to the finance minister Njeru Gidai, the execution of the restructuring plan, which was approved by cabinet on Thursday, takes effect immediately. We are now calling on the telecommunications company. Identify your niche market. Concentrate there where you are making money. Telecom Kenya is 49% owned by the Kenyan government, while France Telecoms own the remaining 51%, which it acquired in 2007 for 27 billion shillings, with the brief of turning around the loss-making firm. However, the Kenyan government is increasingly getting disappointed with the lackluster performance of the firm, which has continued to face stiff competition from its peers in the industry. Philip Keitan for KTN Business Today.